Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, it is early here in Seattle, and uh, I am coming on to do a haul video. And uh, this is a little craft toolbox from Dollar Tree. And uh, I did a haul from a company that I order a lot of teeny tiny embellishments for my gingerbreads. Um, and I am out of almost everything right now for the tiny gingerbreads and I went to do uh, some embellishing the other night um, on the gingerbreads I actually showed you in my Saturday video um, and this was about a week ago when I first started making them and realized I needed to do an order um, of some items now I, I am not very good about sharing hauls but this is one where um, it just so happens I'm gonna put all this stuff into this case and I thought I would film myself while I do it. The company that I order from is called Factory Direct Craft and um, it's factorydirectcraft.com. There's their phone number. Uh, they're open Monday through Friday 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I don't know if that's for their website. I, I don't think it's for their website. That I think is for phone calls. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I crack myself up sometime. Um, anyway, so uh, they do supply a lot of um, craft products. Um, and specifically, I went on to order some tiny embellishments and some craft wire that I needed for something I'm making. And I just didn't have any rusty craft wire. And uh, so I'll get started and I'll show you what I ordered from them. Um, I do like to mention that they often do percentage off sales and that's when I order so um, usually as the holidays draw near you'll see them put sale information up if you um, go to their website and you sign up for information uh, like their emails and stuff like that okay um, so factory direct craft so I'm going to show you some of the things that I ordered um, I ordered this craft wire and it's a rusted craft wire um, and I'm going to, I specifically needed this for a project that I was doing and you can rust your own wire, but for my purposes, um, and with my asthma and everything, I prefer to just order it already made. <clears throat> so, um, that is one of the items that I ordered and I'm not sure if it's going to fit in there with the lid closed, but we'll see. Um, I also ordered these and I've ordered these before to make some ornaments as gifts for Christmas. And these are little tart pans in a brown color. And it's really fun to just put a little scene in here. Um, you can paint the inside and then, you know, paint the sky and put a scene or um, add some little, uh, you know, Christmas type um, reindeer or something, whatever you want to put in here. And then they have a little hole at the top. I don't know if there if you can see it. So you can use that hole to put a hanger on it and create an ornament. So I ordered a couple of these to make some ornaments this year for Christmas. And there's the information. Um, okay. So um, those won't go in here. I'll set those aside. Um, and then they did send me a free gift. It says a little gift from Factory Direct Craft. And it's this really pretty... Um, blue and pink glitter so that that might be fun for like valentine's day or something because it has these really pretty shimmery colors to it so um, that was really nice of them to think of me and do that um and then i did order one ribbon from them because their ribbons are 10 yards long and um i do like the width of this and um and that it's a gingham ribbon and it's uh, a nice uh, plaid um, and uh, kind of a tan. So it has sort of a vintage feel to it, which you know that I love. So I ordered that, but then pretty much everything else that I ordered is related to some Christmas projects um, that I'm doing. So I ordered these mini tree trimmings and these are actually little tiny candy canes that are made of wire. And I will show you the back of this. Okay, so mini tree trimmings 592. Okay, and 
Let me pour these out in my hand and you can see what they look like. They're just little tiny candy canes that are really thin. And you can manipulate these and make them even smaller if you want to put it in a tiny gingerbread's hand, because this is just wire. So you can actually cut it and make an even smaller candy cane. So that's why I get these. So I'm going to put those in there. Um, if you go to Hobby Lobby, you can get um, cookie cutters that are a bigger size. But what I like about these ones is these are minis. Okay, so these are dre the Dress It Up Holiday Collection, but these are mini cookie cutters. So these are very, very tiny. There's my fingernail, okay? And the ones at Hobby Lobby that you get are a little bit bigger. And it's wonderful to have both sizes because when you're doing a bigger gingerbread, you want a bigger size, you know, or a snowman or whatever you're you're doing, a baking thing tag, and you're, you want to put the cookie cutter on the dough, like that dough tag that I showed you guys yesterday. Um, but I specifically got these ones for my smaller gingerbreads. Okay, so I'm going to put those into there. And I actually ordered, um, since I was paying for shipping, um, I think I paid for shipping. Maybe I got shipping free. I don't remember. But um, I usually order a few because I like to fill up my bin. And, um, you know, let's see. Let me show you the back of that package just in case it helps you at all. I don't know if the item number would help you, but it's there. Um, so those are the tiny, oh, and I ordered three of these, yeah, because I go through these really quick during Christmas tag season. So there we go. Okay, then I tried these um, for teeny tiny gingerbreads, and these are super small. So there's my fingernail, and you can see how tiny they are. Okay, and these are crawled micro mini round earth tone buttons. And I got these for my tiny gingerbreads that I'm working on. Um, so here's the information. It's item 9530. Um, and again, it's a dress it up product. Okay, and they're called micro mini round earth tones. So these I'm actually going to leave in the packet because they're so tiny. I don't want to lose them um, in my bin. Uh, and sometimes it's easier to just leave things like that in the package. And then I also tried these ones, and these are a micro mini shapes multi button. And uh, these ones are, are sweet colors. I thought these would be cute on gingerbread too. And these are a little bit bigger, okay? So these are probably almost a quarter inch across. And then if you look in there, they also have some of the mini ones in there too. So I'm not going to open this one. This one is item 3255. Okay, I'm going to put that one in here in this bigger slot. Um, then I ordered these two here, which are called my bitty cutout cookies, itty bitty cutout cookies. And so these ones have the little um, cutout cookies in them. And you can see that they're even smaller, whoops, <laughs> than the small ones I just showed you. So they're even smaller. And uh, here, let me cut one of these. So these are itty bitty cutout cookies. It's item 4851. Is that what it is? Yeah, 4851. Um, so let me cut one of these open. And I got a few of these because that small size is hard to find. <clears throat> and I'll just do a comparison so you can see the difference. This is a star um, in the small ones, and then this is the itty bitty ones, okay? So different sizes. Um, I'll put that one back in there, and then I'm going to put these ones in front, okay? So that's a mix of buttons and cookie cutters, and I got three of these. Um, because that button size is so nice. And the other reason I ordered three <clears throat> is because of these teeny tiny gingerbread buttons. Aren't those cute? They're so tiny. Oh my goodness. Little trees, little hearts, and little gingers. And then, of course, the little cookie cutters. So I'm going to put those in there. And I got the, the idea of doing this on camera like this for my friend Dawn. She did this um, as her uh, kind of her curating for Christmas a few years ago, or maybe it was even last year, I don't know. So Don, thank you for the idea um, to show on camera uh, the things that uh, 
you're going to be creating your, your Christmas with. So then this is Simply Elegant Crafts, um, also purchased from, sorry, I'm out of frame here, also purchased from Factory Direct Craft. These are little acrylic stars, and you can see how tiny they are. I think they're, I'm trying to remember if these are two or three millimeter, but I was looking for very, very tiny things I could use on my gingerbreads. So these will work for little gems on their, for their little buttons also. And uh, let's see, does this have an item number? This is the item number. Okay, acrylic star, they're six millimeters. Okay, probably from end to end they are, but they are very tiny. Um, oh, there we go. So I'm gonna dump these out and I'll show you what they look like. Maybe I'll leave these ones in there, but um, you can see how tiny they are. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave these ones in the plastic and just fold it over and set them in there like that so they're easy to get to. Um, I also got these Santas from Factory Direct Craft and I just thought they were really cute. And um, I thought these would be really cute as package toppers if you're giving a small gift um, or a crafty gift or something like that, um, or even to make them onto a tag. So just load this onto a tag with a sentiment. So these are called Felty Stickers, and it's a 10-piece set, and they're just called Santa. And there's the item or SKU information, if that helps you at all, I don't know. But um, I just thought these were really sweet. So I'm gonna set those there for now. Um, the other thing that I ordered, and I used to get these at Joanne's Fabric and Crafts for like a dollar. And these are little, um, they're little ornaments actually, but what I do, and I did it to one of them so you can see, is I actually cut off the ornament part and I just use it as a cookie on my projects. And I, um, I, I didn't like the price of these, but it's just an option if you don't want to decorate um, a paper cookie, you can often find like things like these in the garland sections at Joann's Hobby Lobby. You can find little baby tree um, ornaments and embellishments that you can use to decorate your Christmas tags and projects. So I just thought I would include this and show it to you so you can see it. But um, back in the day, I used to get these for a dollar um, and now they're a little bit more money. So um, so there's that. And then I also got a yellow star and these ones are also six millimeter. Okay, so same as the red ones that I showed you. These ones are just yellow and um, there's the, the information on the back for the, the yellow ones, okay? And then, um, and you can pause the video at any time if there's something that you would like to look at the number and write it down, just pause the video. Um, so I'm gonna set these in here too. Um, and I might even get little clips for those. Um, or maybe I should just pour these out. I might just pour them out. I'm just gonna do that. I think they're big enough that it'll be okay. So um, I'm just gonna mix the red and the gold together. Uh, no, I think I can do them in a separate one. I've got only a few more things to show you. So there's the red. And one of them is, of course, stuck in there and doesn't wanna come out. There we go. All right, so a few more things. I also found these pink stars, and these ones are 10 millimeters, so they're a little bit bigger. Okay, and um, I just thought these would be fun for some of the medium-sized gingers. So I ordered these. Got to get that one out of there. There's one stuck here. We'll just go like this. Um, I thought these would be fun for some of the um, larger size or medium-sized gingers that I do. So, um, and they're great for snowmen. You know, to make buttons on snowmen and. Uh, you know, just all sorts of things, so. And then I found these heart buttons while I was there, and I thought these would be really cute for Valentine. It's called their Valentine Collection, and um, this is a 25-piece set, and item 3504, and it's from Dress It Up. And uh, I just thought these were cute, 
can't remember if these were on sale or I think um, the best time to buy is of course when they're having one of their sales uh, so watch for that and then I also ordered these teeny tiny uh, jingle bells and I already cut this one open and I think I um, before I decided to do the video I had cut this open but they have a whole variety of rusty bells and they had these ones that are actual bells and I just thought they would be fun to try for some of my tags so they come in a little bag like this and uh, so I just ordered some of them and I'm gonna put those into here like that all right and um, the other thing that I ordered and I'll leave these ones in the bag these are some rusty gingerbread men that are tiny. See how tiny they are? <laughs> Aren't they cute? And they had a couple different sizes, but um, I just love the tiny things so that when you're doing, um, you know, you're making a figure and it's whole, it has its hand out to hold something, it can be holding a gingerbread. And if you need these to show up better, you can always ink a little bit of uh, white ink around the edges. Um, if you're adding it to a brown gingerbread and you want it to show up a little bit more. But anyway, so these are just little rusty gingerbreads, and I just thought they were so, so cute. Um, so I'm just going to leave those ones in the bag. And then um, I always get these, and I was down to just a couple of these. I only had two left in my little um, bin. So I ordered more of these. These are their carrot nose buttons, and... Um, these are item 4683, and again, this is a Dress It Up um, product. And I believe you can get stuff like this at Hobby Lobby also, so you might do better at Hobby Lobby price-wise during one of their 50% or 40% off um, sales. But, um, you know, so anyway, I'm, I've got some of the noses, and I'm kind of running out of space here. Let's see. Maybe I will put my candy canes over here on top of the buttons for a minute. We'll just move those over. And I'm going to put my, my carrot noses all together because I have a bunch of the carrot noses. Um, so I will open those in a minute off camera. And then the last thing I got, of course, was some gingerbread buttons. So I'll add those to the bin. And um, because this video is getting too long already, um, I did get a couple other things while I was there. Um, I got some of these little tiny white snowflakes. And, um, and then I also found these little tiny um, uh, rolling pins. And um, these I might use on some ornaments that I'm going to do. So... Um, you know, here's my thumb. You can kind of see how big they are. They're, they're tiny. They're about an inch and a half long. And so I ordered one of those. And then I also ordered these little tiny wood gingers just because I thought they were cute. And I'm not sure if I'll make them into ornaments or what, but I'll probably paint them a nice gingery color and then, um, see what I can do, uh, with these. So, um, so that is everything that I ordered. And um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing a little peek into some of my Christmas, um, I guess, uh, embellishment stash um, to when I embellish my, my gingers and my different Christmas tags. So thank you for watching. Um, I'm sitting here enjoying looking at my sweet little gingerbread that Linda crocheted for me and uh, Lisa Adavasio. Um, they sent this and it's sitting here on my desk and it's making me smile every day. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. Everybody have a wonderful Sunday and I'll be back. I've got to do one more video. I got some happy mail from my friend Kelly. So I'll come back on and share that. All right. Bye now.